Yeah, for those that said he wasn't big enough, wasn't fast enough to be a standout in the NFL, they simply did not know Quandre Diggs. We fortunately have had the opportunity to get to know Quandre through the years here at the University of Texas. We now welcome him back on the set. 23 years old, mature Quandre Diggs. How you doing, man? How was the birthday party? Oh, man, it was great. Um, you know, just happy to be back in Austin. Enjoy the time with my friends, my family out here. And, you know, we had us a good time. Very mature. 23 years old. Yeah, like you look it. Older man. You look it. You look very wise. Uh, I would say that. You know, I'm a old soul, as they say. Yeah, Charlie would say that a lot about you. <laughs> Star, cornerback. The old soul, Quandre Diggs. Get into the offseason now. What's the approach for you, what you want to accomplish in this offseason, and how does that compare to what you would go through typically when you were playing in college? Um, I think now, just the offseason being a little bit longer. Um, you know, in college, you really don't have a big offseason. You, you have a good month or so, you know, just to go home after, the, after school's done and, you know, just kind of enjoy time with the family. But now, you know, I'm, I'm really here from January into the middle of April. So, you know, I have a little bit of time to come back, you know, um, Enjoy being in, being in the great city of Austin and, you know, being around good people. But, you know, at the same time, in the next week or two, you know, got to get back to working out, get back in shape, do some light jogging and stuff like that. But nothing too serious. And, you know, when March and April roll around, then I want to, you know, just kind of be getting back into shape. Definitely not football shape, but just getting back in shape where, you know, I can go run and do those different things and do stuff that uh, position drills that definitely relate to me. So how does your body feel at this point in time compared to the wear and tear you went through in a college season? Oh, uh, feels it's a 360 degree, you know, feel that I have. Like my body is feels fresh, you know. In the NFL, they kind of take care of you a little bit more. Um, it's not as much hidden, um, not as much running. You know, they cut the reps down and things like that. But you know, in college, is you got to go prove it every day. Um, you know, not saying that you don't have to in the NFL, but they take care of us a lot. And in college, it's still about developing, getting better, um, trying to get bigger, faster, stronger, lifting weights hard as possible. And the NFL is more maintaining and continue to get better, you know, um, and just being mentally, mentally stronger and things like that. Do you believe in the freshman wall or the rookie wall? Did you experience either one of those in Detroit or here in Austin? Um, I definitely believe in it. Um, I wouldn't say it took a big toll on me this past year just because of the fact that you know, I really didn't start getting a lot of playing time until maybe week nine or so. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, by the time the end of the season rolled around, it probably would have been halfway through the season if I would have started from the beginning. So, you know, I wouldn't say it, I, the rookie wall hit me, but mentally it kind of, you know, <laughs> everything started being a drag. Everything continued to get long. You know, you in meetings every day, you're like, oh, man, it's almost the end of the season, almost the end of the season. But... You know, um, if you love football the way I do, you know, you just get through those things and you continue to fight. All the reviews that we've heard from your rookie year out of Detroit have been very good. We saw that here at the University of Texas. They're experiencing now up in Michigan. What do you think it was that ultimately allowed you to have such a successful rookie season? Um, I told those guys the day I was drafted, you know, don't let the numbers fool you. You know, people like to point at the 40, people like to point at the height, but... You know, it's something that can't be measured. That's my heart. I always say that, you know, I'm a competitor. I'm, I'm as competitive as they come. Um, you know, I just want to be the best at what I do. And, you know, um, like I said, I was blessed, you know, great genetics, blessed with, you know, a tremendous, a tremendous IQ and things like that. So, you know, I see a lot of things before those guys that run those four three, you see them so I can break and get to those things faster. I can recognize splits and things that other guys can't see. So. That's what makes me a lot different than a lot of rookies. Um, you know, I, I pride myself on being an intellectual DB, and that's something that always been a part of my game since I got here and, you know, um, definitely took steps when I got here. But, you know, as I get in the NFL, I have tremendous coaches that does tremendous work each and every week with film study and things like that. And, you know, I'm a student of the game. I watch football as much as possible. If it's Monday night, Sunday night, Thursday night, when we done on Sundays, I watch football. So... Um, that definitely helps a lot, too. Well, you were one of the top defensive back prospects in America coming out of high school. Mm -hmm. And to take you back to those days, since it's Wednesday, one week away from National Signing Day, what do you remember about the final week before signing that national letter of intent? Um, well, for me, I was here already. So, 
I was going through those workouts with Benny, and he was killing us already. So I was here with with a, with a bunch of the guys that you know I went to battle with each and every week. So uh, my mind was on trying to get through those workouts, uh, trying to get situated in school and things like that. But that'll always be you know. How much were you working the phone at that moment in time, trying to get guys to join you? I was working the phone a lot. You know, um, we kind of had our class already, but we had some guys kind of on the fence. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I told those guys they wanted to be here, you know, be at the University of Texas somewhere where it's definitely special. And they just wanted to hear what it was like being up here, being a student athlete. And, you know, I kind of let those guys know, um, kind of let them have the inside scoop. And, you know, I think we inked a pretty, pretty good class. You know, I think we could have done a lot better than, than what we did, but the expectation was so high for us that, you know, um, we had some guys that came through, made a lot of plays, but I think we could have been better. Well, you always played with the swagger, and regardless if you're on the football field, away from it, or on Twitter, you've got a presence about you. And you talked about the size. It's not that big of a deal. You can't measure all the intangibles, but you can't measure the size. And we go back and forth on this just a little bit. You've seen some of our Twitter beef here just as far as who is actually taller. Because mm -hmm. I think we'd both admit we're not the tallest people in the world, yeah. but I think we can determine exactly who is taller than the next. So are you ready to end this debate right now that started on Twitter? We might as well, you know, get the people what they want. Okay, well, let's do it. We have one of your buddies here, Dominic Espinosa, to handle the festivities from here. How you doing, Dom? Doing good, doing good. Oh, you're looking sharp. Look at my oh, guys what? here. Well, now we gotta get the shoes off. That's yeah. for sure. So start. First step here. Shoes off. Oh, he, those no, socks can, are pretty I, thick, though. I can just. He's got the Doc Martens. You know, those those are not regulation. Red Hirachis. Those socks, he's already cheating. I mean, I this guy. This is going to be your standard this, roller this test. Over. Look at this. All right. That's the, big, that's the biggest ruler you could have got. Hey. Hey, what's up? You got on top of the head. Oh, I won. No, who's first? Oh, who's I won. First? <laughs> I, I, I'm already seeing it's something. It's over. Yeah. You're yeah. Seeing I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you the truth now. It's over. I don't feel as good without shoes yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel as good. This isn't going to end well. This well, socks are pretty, We're going to do it. All right, here we go. Those heels good? See them good back there? I'm worried about those socks. That's what I'm worried about. All right, there's Quandre. Well, you gave him two marks. Well, one, one angle is bad. Okay. Here we go. Okay. This Remember, is... now you got to so measure I'm, me. I'm 5'11". So that tells you all where, where you are about that. You are, are not you, There's no way. Here we go. Come on, man. You're just killing my confidence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> oh. Wait. Let's what are you talking about? Let's, let's go. Look. Look. Let's go. Here we go. Okay. Oh, this is not good. Oh, man. How bad is it? <laughs> oh, that's a full inch. Put that on Maybe Twitter. Gosh, man. I thought it was going to be closer, Quandre. Twitter, Twitter I'm not going to lie. You see it. Wait, wait. So, do we get to erase the question mark? The question mark is done. Okay. There we go. Thanks. Hey, you know what? It's a good inch and a half. I can be a gracious loser. Hey, Congratulations, okay. Quandre Diggs. It's okay. Quandre the Giant. I may need some counseling after this, though, because I thought I had you. I oh, really good, thought I'm I had you. I'm good at that. I'm good at a lot of things. I can <sighs> counsel also. You know? So, what's your advice for me? Um, You know, probably just continue to wear shoes. Uh, yeah. They have... <laughs> Great boots. I've got some boots. Yeah, wear boots at I've all times. I've got some boots. Okay. All times. All times. That's Gosh. that's probably the number one deal I can give you. Mm. You know, but it's okay. You gotta yeah. stretch. Okay. I tried to, and then you Oh, they have one, you know. You can put your feet up, put your feet up on top of the door, and then you can hang down and, and that will stretch you. Okay. Yeah, they told me to do that before the combine. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm gonna take that advice. I'm heartbroken, but to the champion. Quandre Diggs, Quandre the Giant, fair and square right here on Longhorn Extra. Dominic, good. appreciate you. Good to see you, too. Good Dom Espinosa in the house, <laughs> emceeing the event.